All right, welcome everyone to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, where we're trying to finish off the uh, Pina Colada Greater Player. It's been quite some time um, since the start of this this character, really. 2016, holy shit. Pina Colada is two years old already. Wow. What the fuck? Wait, really? Holy shit, what? Wait, was he actually that old? Holy crap. Oh, I guess I just didn't play him for an entire year, almost. What the fuck? Why did I use this account? <laughs> what? Why did I use this account? Why is this a 2016 account? I did not know that. Holy shit. Wait, when was the demise... When was the Salt City one? Was that 2016 too? Holy shit, it was 2016. Whoa. And the last one was in 2018. My goodness. How far we've come. 2016. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, that's right. This was in a tournament, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I don't remember playing any of these games now. Where? Wh how did I? What? What is happening? Um. Oh wow, we're on a two streak too. We're gonna lose that streak real quick. Um. Let's 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 just go ahead and play something that we have to for the greater player on. Um. My trusty assistant Bean here is telling me. Uh, what we have to do left. Abyssal Knight, Assassin, Fire Elementalist, Ice Elementalist, Monk, Warper, Demigod, Centaur, Formicid, Ghoul, Halfling, Merfolk, and Troll. Now, I don't really like doing... Like, I, I think we've done quite a couple of mages already. I think it's time for us to go for a melee or a ranged dude. Uh, but the question is, which one are we going to do? I don't know. It's been a while since we've done a Formicid. I'm not going to do an Abyssal Knight, because I think I've already done Abyssal Knight twice on this channel with Formicid. Um, I might I might just do a, like, a Centaur Warper or something, just because it's easy. You know what I mean? Centaur, like, if I go Centaur Warper, I can go... Hang on, hang on. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I, I can dupe 1. Uh, or one can be vetoed to be full, like, fully easy. I think Demigod and either Ice or Fire Elementalist is fine. The other one will probably... Okay, so Murpho can go with Ice Elementalist. Demigod can go with Fire Elementalist. Ghoul can go with Monk, even though I don't like Ghoul. That means Centaur or Halfling can go with Warper. And the other one can go Assassin. Formicid... Oh, I can't go Formicid... I don't want to go Formicid Abyssal Knight. I think I'll go... Halfling Abyssal Knight, and then Formicid Assassin, and then that leaves me with Troll whatever. Unless there's like a really weak race that I- like, I, I, I don't know, Ghoul is probably the weakest one in this entire group. It's kind of shitty actually how bad they are. Um, okay, well we might as well do a Centaur Walker. I haven't done a Centaur in a very long time, it's actually been... Pretty, pretty long, actually, because I just have not had the... Whoa. All right, game. Apparently, you don't want to see me with a short sword. Uh, I mean, spear is pretty, like, obvious, right? We're going to go centaur, hopefully get a bow at some point, and then just be badasses is, is the plan. I don't know if the plan's actually going to work, but hey, whatever. All right, so centaur, uh, a rare... Fr uh, Breath of fresh air, apparently, with regards to aptitudes. They are not flat across the board aptitudes. Uh, they have minus ones in a lot of things, minus twos in some things, plus threes, plus ones, zeros, all over the place. Crazy. Uh, but generally speaking, they are the ranged class of choice for most ca uh, players. Pretty good at doing... Um, decent at doing magic, uh, except for spellcasting. Decent at doing me uh, melee. Not really, but it's okay. Good at doing all things related to uh, ranged weapons. Terrible at defense, terrible at stealth, and uh, surprisingly good at evocations for some reason. Damn, those are some really bad defense aptitudes. Minus three to all defenses. Holy shit, alright. But, they're pretty straightforward. They have, uh, they have very fast speed because they're horses. They have shitty bodies, so they have lower base AC I believe it is. Uh, when you equip any armor, 
They have hooves, which give you a bit of slaying, and they have a bit of extra AC to begin with. So they start off with a fairly decent amount of AC, but they scale pretty badly uh, later on into the game. They are most suited for like a cost, uh, sorry, a, a, a ranged build using bows, taking advantage of that glorious plus three to bows. Um, meaning that basically by the time you pick up a bow, your best bet is to use the bow. It's really good. Um, Having said that though, we're gonna have to go pull arms for the first chunk of the game because we haven't we're not gonna find a bow yet, I assume. We could get really lucky and get one, but you know it's fine. Um Yeah, so what do I think of centaurs generally? They're pretty good. They're like probably very high tier. Um only because of their movement speed. Like movement speed is just way too good in this game. Um it completely negates like random energy, it makes sort of things like cockroaches and jackals and stuff on instant death if you end up getting a bad roll against them later on into the game you know it, it, it does a lot of stuff like it's really good you can run away from stuff it's basically like i have free boots of running every single time uh which is pretty absurd like i think it's actually better than boots of running i don't know how fast boots of running makes you but i'm pretty sure 0.6 or 0.7 is really fast the only race that's faster than uh than centaur is uh spriggan at 0.6 speed but basically you can think of it like i'm hasted almost all the time or i'm like semi hasted i guess i'm swifted which is pretty good um if you think about it so yeah uh, as for warper warper gives you a bunch of spells that you literally never use um you don't even get apportation anymore uh, or i don't think you did get apportation but you can learn things like blink and uh shroud of galubria Spells that I really don't give a shit about at all, but I will learn them because, you know, trivial optimal. These spells will then let you get eventually, uh, nothing, because you have Passage of Galubria, Gel's Gravitas, Leza Beckoning, and Teleport Other. This plays like a little bit of a compilation of the worst spells in the game, so, um, yeah, don't pick Whopper if you want to be a mage, because that's not gonna work. Oh, this guy has dropped a Dagger of Venom, that's really, really, really good for this character. Um, to make up for the completely worthless book that most characters will never even give a shit about, uh, they give you five tomahawks of dispersal, which will blink enemies away, um, from you if you manage to hit it on an opponent, and they give you a free scroll of blinking, which is actually pretty good. It's, it's not bad at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it is a class. Um, I would argue that it is probably contending for worst class. And I mean that, like, unironically. I mean, it actually is probably the worst class in the game. Um, just because it offers so little stuff that it's just like, okay, sure. Though, arguably, no, actually, no, I think Arcane Marksman is worse by quite a decent amount. Unless you're playing, like, Centaur, specifically. Because it just isn't as good, I think. I don't know. Alright, I picked up a Hunting Sling. Do I want to train for a Hunting Sling, though? Not really, because it's a pain in the ass to do that. And, but I might have to just do it, because I'm a fucking cool guy like that, I guess. <sighs> Alright. Whatever. We'll just use the sling. It's effectively broken this early on in the game. Again, slings are really good at zero skill. Really amazing for the damage they deal. They basically give you free sling on your th rock throws for free, which means that you get free attacks all the time. Uh, I should also have arrows on auto pickup, to be honest. It's probably a good idea. Uh, ooh, gloves. Nice. Got some pretty good gear this early on in the game. Bunch of auxiliary slots, and we got a sling, which is pretty good for us. I don't think the slings have cross-training with bows. I'm pretty sure it has cross-training with, uh, with throwing. I don't even know if crossbows has cross-training with bows, to be honest. I'm not sure. But either way, we're gonna have arrows in order to pick up. The plan is just grab some free shit. Um, the second we find a bow, sorry, we'll just you know use it, and it's pretty broken, hopefully. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, my earphones are on the ground. Oh, that's fine. Whatever, it's all good. I almost stepped on them. That would have broken. Them. Feels bad, man. My earphones are like super fucked up now because I just haven't. I need to get a new one, actually. I just haven't really, like, thought about it enough. 
Flail of Draining, huh? That's a really good thing to have. I don't know if I want it exactly right now, but hey, whatever. Why not? As a uh, dumb asshole over there, I'm going to go ahead and try to stab him with venom. Take him out. Hmm. Is it worth my time to switch over from polons to maces and flails? Uh, I mean, arguably, yes. Because the polearm one-handed options are not that good in the early game. It's just trident and polearm. Whereas the flail of draining is already going to be like an amazing weapon. And I'm not really using my EXP right now. Like, I don't give a shit about my EXP that much this, at this point in time. I'm waiting for my bow. Like, I'm literally just waiting for the bow. Um, so everything I'm doing here is just kind of pointless, I guess. It's kind of a stupid way to look at it, but that's just the way I'm thinking about it. I mean, actually, no. I, I think... Hmm. Okay, actually, no. I think that there's no point in me saying all that. And even, or even training the pole on, because I'm using the Dagger of Venom anyway. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I guess I should just turn the Dagger... What the fuck is my training right now? God, wow, this is really stupid. Okay, this ring mail sucks. Let's drop that. Uh, okay, this is just dumb. I don't, I don't know what to do about this. Like, I'm using a sling, and that's all I need to use, because I have a Dagger of Venom. I don't have to train anything right now. There's no point. I might need to pick up an Invocations Heavy God in the early game just because I need something to train other than bows. Like, I don't know, I don't want to train slings, you know what I mean? I really don't want to. And I don't, ah, oh man, this character is, this character is poop. I'll, I said it, that's it. We got demonetized, that's worth it. This character's poop, fighting against the, the patriarchy, you know what I mean? Like, who made this character? Why do they make Walker a thing? Why don't they just merge with Arcane Marksman? It's basically the same class anyway. No one wants to use either of them. Call it Arcane Arcane Whopper, and then just give them like a, a dagger. Uh, plus two Cloak of Int, plus two. That's not too bad, I guess. There is Ringmail of Magic Resist, but I don't really want that right now. Uh, I can't afford anything anyway, because I'm poor as shit. I'm cash poor right now. Oh, Confusing Touch, whoa. Gel's Gravitas, whoa. Maybe we can learn some of these spells. Just kidding. I don't know why I did that uh, that flail. I think I just accidentally pressed the button, and then it just so happened that that button was the one that the flail was on. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, a plus two hat is better than a plus one helmet. Uh, oh, than a plus zero helmet, sorry. I want to train strength, because I'm going to go heavy armor. I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's block the orc. Again, I don't really have a strategy for this other than just walk away with poison. It's like, this character is way too good. At the, like, he's so good that he doesn't care about having to train something to, to kill enemies. But at the same time, like, I need to eventually train something to kill enemies because this is just going to be stupid by the end of this game. Like, for example, this ogre here... I can literally just sit here with the spear and stab at him until I kill him. And he, he can do nothing to stop me. Like, he is completely impotent. This is the absolute broken bustedness of uh, being a centaur. It's, priv it's centaur privilege, really. Like, if you think about it. Like, look at that. Like, what character can just do that free? Like, you see this idiot ice beast? Same, same deal. He's gonna sit here and he's gonna get stabbed until he dies. Like, he's not gonna get a chance to even touch me. And that's just sad, but hey, whatever. Like, oh no, it's a red enemy. Oh, that means it's extremely dangerous. Yeah, this is really dangerous. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I, I like this so much. I'm going to go ahead and switch to pole arms training. But I'm not going to focus it because I want to have more fighting anyway. Like, oh no. The big bad dude with uh, cold damage based attacks. What a threat to my life. You know what, I'll even switch to the Halberd, because I'm that confident. This character won't get hit by 10-speed enemies. Oh shit, that's a centaur! <gasps> my, my, my legacy, it's beginning. Our battle has only just begun, if you will. Uh, I need to kill this motherfucker. Kill him. Yeah, I used might, because I was, like, angry. And I wanted to show them that I was angry. I expressed myself. Alright, turn this fighting 
shit off. I'm training all bows, baby. I've actually done this a lot, and it, it works because this character never gets hit by anything. It's really dumb. Um, basically, all you do is you just get the bow, and you just put that on A, and then you get this thing, you put that on B, and then you just shoot the bow every single time, and then you just kill everything. It's easy. Uh, oof. Ice Blast, maybe? If I get enough gold for that, it's pretty good. I guess. Not bad. I can switch to this dagger here. Just kill everything. Oh, shit. It's a Wand of Clouds. Hey, that's good. I was about to buy that. I'm just gonna stand right here, and he's gonna just go ahead and die. Because he's stupid. Uh, yeah, sure. No one can also die. It's fine. He has a Wand of Acid. Holy fuck me. Run away. See, most characters in there might actually have died, but not me, because I'm a fucking badass. I'm going to throw a Wand of Clouds here, and then I'm going to uh, shoot him through the clouds, forcing him to be mephitic, and then I'm going to pelt at him from range until he dies. Uh, so what I, the reason why I did that is because I knew that whatever ring, whatever, whatever cloud that I created from the Wand of Clouds uh, was in the hallway, if I shoot at him, he'll walk into the cloud because he's a dumbass. Uh, or he'll just stand at the edge of the cloud, and then I can kill him from far away. I need to make sure that I wasn't in range of his, uh, his, his acid attack, because that's, you know, dangerous, and, um, not into it, really, frankly. Actually, anti, anti-acid, you know, anti-acid. Uh, but use on, on uniques, fine by me. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Alright, where's Temple? Are we gonna get that soon? Oh, that was a dagger of electric, uh... That was a hand axe of electrocution. Oh, it's a centaur zombie. Are you trying to tell me something, game? That I'm gonna die? I'll never die. I'm literally gonna come back to life as a zombie. Oh, that was the joke. I get it, game. Thank you for... Man, you're so smart. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, the video game. Based on the movie, based on the book. And you know so much. Alright, I'm just gonna kill these idiots. Oh, a temple! Oh, man. I'm so excited. What could I possibly do here? I don't know. I could I could do literally anything. I could pick any god. I could literally pick any of these amazing gods that I'm not going to pick. Look at all these ones. Like, look at that guy. Look at him there. Whoa. Uh, uh, I don't want to pick fat ass. Look, I'm not going to pick fat ass. I'm not a fucking idiot. Alright, I don't want to... Like, I know that everyone loves it when I fucking hate myself, but come on. I need to play the video game. You know what I mean? Uh, instead, we're going to go ahead and pick Ellie, because um, we're stupid. We don't like living. Wait. No, we're gonna pick Death Menace. Fuck it, yeah. Death Menace is a bit more fun. Everyone knows you can pick Okawara, you can pick Trog for a fun and easy game, but I guarantee you that if I pick Okawara or Trog, everyone's gonna be like, oh, you're a fucking loser. Go fucking kill yourself. I'm like, yes, I will. Just give me a minute. I need to pay off my student loans. Did you know that they're actually deferred? Deferred payments? Hmm? The government pays for it? Hmm? My education is alone. It's a return on investment. Now normally I wouldn't even go 10 feet near this place, but there's two centaurs in there, which means that there's some delicious arrows, and I am totally about that. So I'm gonna go in there. Um, I'm not gonna respect my own safety. I have no no regard for my own personal safety. That's fine. Like like I'll put that I'll put that on a hot a hot two out of ten in terms of priorities that I got. Arrows is ten out of ten priority. It's good shit. Um <gasps> You're coming to me? Am I the centaur whisperer? Give me that. Yeah, 56 arrows already? Yes, oh, you're all here. I feel so special. I feel like it's my, I feel like I'm having a picnic. Oh God, everything's, everything's just, everything's just showing up all at once. Give me the arrows. I don't care about your stupid null shit. I'm running away. I'm running away. Alright, heal up. Now I can go back and murderize all you guys. Get more strength, because I'm a fucking crazy guy. No morals. Yeah. Ooh, plate armor. So, contrary to popular belief, um, archers are actually fully plated. Because that's a good way to do things. Oh. I lost all my defense. Alright, maybe not. What about scale mail? Will you take that? Oh, look. I have one pip of piety already with, um, whatever this guy's name is. Dithmenos something. Uh, 
get it because um, it used to be called D something and then they changed it to D- Dith Mangos, but then it sounded like Mangos and then they called it Dith Menos after that because they were like, I don't want to make the God of Shadows sound like t- Mangos. That's actually real lore. Like, that's that's true lore. Um, Rue also used to be called I Ashol, but then because people thought that it sounded like I Asshole, she got changed to Rue. Hmm, fun facts. Fun facts with the mice. These are, these are the hard-hitting facts that, you know, the media won't tell you. You know what I mean? The, the media will never tell you the true origins of, of Dith Mangos, the, the god of mangoes, and uh, other really nice fruit, really nice summer fruit. I actually do, I do fancy a mango here and there, you know? Well, alrighty then. Uh, just, just on the ground? Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> wow, that was uh, not expected. Uh, what the fuck just happened to me? Did I just get hit by? Dude, look, I'm literally. Oh my god, I am. I am a starry knight. You know that. You know that one by uh, Van Gogh. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. I don't know what it's called. Is it Starry Knight? Dark Knight. I don't know, whatever I am. Like, you know me, right? That's me. I'm that painting because I have the starlight and I'm also of the shadows. I've created the lore inside the video. I am an artist, if you if you think about it, really. Um, this character is amazing. I don't know what happened to me. What? Sometimes it's just... Wow, holy shit. 13 AC on, an, on a centaur this early on is pretty good. Uh, poison resistance, slaying, whoa, wait a minute, hang on a second, whoa, calm the fuck down, Demise, what are we doing here, what are we, why are we seeing this good shit happen to us, is it because we're good people, is that what's going on, did we finally get paid back for that lost shit that we had to deal with, lost video game, the last time we played this goddamn game, what happened here, we've ascended, we've, that's what happened, we've just, been granted the RNG RNG goods, the good things. You know what I mean? You think this dagger venom is plus one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sure it is. Cool, nice. I get a free plus one dagger venom. I don't even have to. Didn't even have to pay for it. Oh, it's not on B though. Give me that. Oh, I can now step into the shadows of nearby creatures and never use that ever. I'm not gonna bother with that shit because it's worthless. We actually did that on the Ogre, I think, at some point, and then we realized, wait, this thing is garbage. Uh, 24, 24, but this thing gives me RF+, plus, and it also gives me more AC. I'll take it. Might as well get more AC while I can, while I can you know what I mean? I can forget spells. Uh, Passage of Glubria, sure, why not? I need those nine spell levels. Yeah. You might be wondering, why am I reading all these scrolls really quick? Um, the answer is because I, if I get a Quirement scroll, I'm totally fucking buying. I'm going for gold, so I can hopefully buy the slaying ring because that makes this character go ape shit pretty much um slaying is good on everyone except for mages right but on ranged it's really good because you get like four or five free shots every single fight meaning that the slaying just basically could be the difference between an enemy getting in melee at you with you uh, at half hp and the enemy just dying at like three tiles away from you so it's really really good to get uh slaying well it's good to get slaying on most characters really but on ranged specifically, I get a lot of benefit out of it. <coughs> I mean, arguably, like, the only guys who can get more value out of that is probably, like, Axe Boys. But I'm not an Axe Boy. I'm just a regular bowman right now. Book of Transmutations. Now, interestingly enough, Centaurs make for, uh, terrible transmuters because of the minus three of the spell casting that I forgot about. I was like, oh, they're actually pretty... Oh, no. Minus three spell casting. Feels good, man. Oh, another centaur. Holy shit, yes. Each centaur is like an extra 30 arrows, which is amazing for this character. I like it. I like it. Just hope we get the acquirement scroll soon. We got a couple of them last game, so, you know, I'm expecting the new one to be exactly the same, because that's how the game works, if you think about it. Alright. My orc warrior friend, kill. How about you go over there for a bit? Ah, I'm leaving. Bye. And then when you return, I will not be your friend. The next time we meet, you will die. See? It was a prophecy. I have the gift of foresight. 
you can uh, send me five bucks and I'll uh, tell your future and uh, what kind of financial decisions you should be making from now on. Spoiler alert, the answer is uh, don't give me five dollars because it's a waste of money. That's the answer. Ah, oh, speaking of enslavement, i um, gonna just go ahead and enslave this bee here. Oh look, I'm a mock centaur now. I mean, enslave this hippogriff here. He's gonna maul all these gnolls and then eventually die to some random shit that no one cares about. And I'll just kill everything else. Oh, it's the bee vault. Oh, man. See, the thing about the bee vault is that if you enslave the thing in the bee vault, like, everything dies. It's pretty good. Or you can just, like, one of clouds, everything walks into itself, and then you just kind of kill everything slowly over time. You don't really have to worry about anything, really. It's pretty good. Um, turns out Mephitic Cloud is broken when you just give it to every character, so hooray. Okay, so now we bleed smoke, um, aka we just, like, we emit a vape juice cloud, uh, cloud of vape juice every time we get hit, because we're a fucking badass like that. We're, we're edgy, we're of the night, we're of the shadows, we, we vape, yes. Why do you ask? I don't understand what that question is. And our final form is actually a ninja. Um, so yeah, you know, you could argue that Death Menace is just the edgy god of, like, being a ninja, which is kind of good, I get. Oh, wow. Our bows is at, uh, 16 already. Okay, well, I really don't need to train for it anymore, because we have already hit Mindalay, like, a while ago, so I guess I'll train armor. Why not? And, uh, train a... a smidgen of pole arms. Sure, why not? I'm not really, like, super invested into the idea of pole arms, but I might as well. It's nice to have a weapon that I can use. I love Wanda Bassett. Hitting that big wand. Yum. So in the early game, you kind of want to uh, avoid using your arrows too much, because you'll end up mulching a bunch of them. Uh, so usually you pick up a sidearm, like a halberd or something, just to kind of be a melee guy for a bit. And you can do this stuff, for example. Ah, oh, I fucked up. But that's okay, we'll just kill him anyway. Uh, to conserve your ammo, you can just do that on every 10-speed enemy you find, if you're so inclined to. I'm lazy, so sometimes I'll just not do that. And I'm also very lazy in that sometimes I'll just not use the bow ever. Uh, there are lots of Centaur games where I play, and I'm like, wait, I'm a I'm a ranged character, I totally forget. And I just do the entirety of Zot 5 with like, the weapon that I've been using, because I'm just so used to playing melee. That is another way to play Centaur, really. Just play as, like, a melee character. It's not as good, but, you know, it works. I mean, look at this. Like, this is just nonsense, right? <laughs> like, this character has no business being that good against enemies, that they can take zero damage against them all. But, you know, the power of uh, walking backwards is very powerful, apparently. It's got a high, high impact. Oh, magic regen. That's gonna let me, uh... That's gonna give me the ability to... Nothing. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll accept it. I'll cop it. Ooh, I want the enslavement one. I actually want that. That's pretty good. Oh, fun fact. Another fun fact about the Dungeon Crawl Stone Suit video game. Uh, they actually removed some of Pickel's uh, lines because it was too saucy. That's that's true. That's actually true. They, they got rid of all references to being a sex slave, um, and they just replaced it with, like, I'm a generic asshole. So, uh, yeah. Is Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup too saucy for the for us? I think so. I'm gonna get fucking murdered here. Like, so hard, you don't even know. This shit is just, like, he's ignoring me. He is, he is blatantly ignoring my appeals to authority. I have just, I have no control over this man whatsoever. He is just killing me. This man, uh, this Sonya and Wasp... You fucker. You absolute fuck. Get the fuck away from me right now, you fuck. He's not getting away from me. He's actually... Oh my god. Alright, well, that's not good. Um, gonna have to switch to the bow here. Gonna have to bow this kid down. Where is she? Where is she? Where's Sonya? I angry. Oh, wizardry. Now I can cast blink. Look. See? I did it. I'm a mage. I'm a true caster. I'm a video game wizard. 
you know, a mage, an arc wizard, if you will. Is it arc wizard or arch wizard? Arc, arc mage? Arch mage? I don't know. You don't really hear those things be said out loud because no one will ever say those words in real life. Other than, you know, grand wizard. But that's, that's a totally different thing. That's not related to magic at all, apparently. Uh, I, I made that mistake, calling someone a grand wizard out in the pub. <gasps> a short bow velocity. Yum. Yum. How did you know? It's my favorite. God, I love short bows of velocity. They're just so delicious. You can eat them. For sustenance, if you're, if you're so inclined. God, give me my, like, thing. Can I get money? Can you give me cash? I'm, I need some fucking liquidation here. Also, I don't need this this uh, cloak. I don't even know if I want poison resist. That's how much I want this fucking ring of slaying. You know what I mean? I want that ring of slaying. So bad. Three three slay is like good. It makes our weapon actually very good. Very decent. And I, I'm pretty sure I want that. Like I'm, I'm not exactly sure if I want to be good at the video game, but you know, I kind of want that. I feel like it would be helpful to us. Alright, Sonya just fucked off somewhere. I don't know where she went. I got petrified. Fuck. No. Alright, well, they just let me go, apparently. It's fine. I'll take it. Alright, so I think at, at this point now, Dithmanos has, like, got a shadow boy that's, like, sometimes doing a double attack for me, which is nice. I don't know exactly how the thing works. Oh, wow, I got one charge off that acid one. That was fucking sick. Oh, God, this guy's just ignoring me. I really need my slaying, man. I like how I've I've come I've just I've just started saying like I deserve the slaying. <laughs> like you normally never find slaying, but I'm just like cuz I ha I know that it exists. I'm like man this character sucks so much ass until it gets what I want. <gasps> Is that a longbow? Holy shit. All right, that's pretty good actually. Let me go ahead and train a little bit of bows. A little bit. Just just a smidgen. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to make Oh my god, this guy's following me. You want to do that because uh, you want to get that short blip, that short bow up at some point. Um, okay, I don't know what's going on here. That's opening a new tab. Uh, control numpad three, I guess. Whatever works for us. Oh my god, this invisible thing is gonna really be a pain in the rear. I can tell already. Whatever, we'll just deal with it in our own special way. Immolation. Oh fuck, the <laughs> invisible thing is now also on fire invisible. I can't kill this motherfucker, someone help me. I don't know where he is! No! Alright, you know what, I'm gonna close this door. Open the door, shout, come over here. Close the door, and I'm just gonna swing this way, just left. And that's gonna just really kill the opponent for me, because I'm just I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. This is unironically. Oh, I killed him. Never mind. I'm the best. That was all planned. That was all, all, all part of my master plan. It was all good. See, easy peasy. <laughs> Fighting invisible things inside my shadow of umbra. It's pretty sad. It's because it, it's times like this when you're like, man, I wish I was running the shining one, because then I would be able to, you know, do anything. Alright, I'm going to use Disintegration on Eels. They have no MR, pretty much, and uh, they don't have enough health to survive more than one Disintegration Blast, usually. So it's pretty nice and free to kill them. Well, you, you know, two Disintegration Blasts. I was rounding down. I should have rounded up. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, switch to the Dagger of Venom for the useless stuff. Can I, like, kite this idiot? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. just didn't want to, like accidentally end up dying here to a single brown ugly thing. There we go. Necrophage, more like necro dead. Doesn't make any sense, but yeah, I'll take it. Where's Lair? Is it on this floor? I assume it's on this floor. The vampire's here, oh no. Oh my god, more idiots I can't see in this floor. I'm just gonna shoot up in the general direction of up. Kill a bunch of stuff. What? You're alive? Impossible. He survived, like when Dio was shot out of the building, and then he was like, I'm fine, actually, because I am a vampire. 
that was a reference, I think. That was a JoJo reference, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm like 85%. Sure. Where the fuck is Lair? Oh, there it is. Hey. <laughs> I was like, where is this thing? It's right here. Never mind. I'm done. Soz. Oh, man. Remember when, like, vision in this game used to be circular and you didn't have these weird corners? You had these, like, you had multiple weird corners? That was a good time. Remember that? Circular vision? I, I remember that. Looks weird. Even when you look at old screenshots, it looks fucking weird, man. Do we have enough money? Nope. I really don't want to buy poison resistance. You know what I mean? I feel like that's irrelevant for this character. Oh, I can now become a swelling mass of shadows. AKA a social reject. People will, uh, I'm resistant to torment and I'll, uh, be able to protect myself from time to time. I'll reduce my damage. AKA the shut in. AKA the meat. The Nito. Man, speaking of Nito, actually, I've been I've been reading the, I was reading the wiki on on Dark Souls because you know Dark Souls is a really good franchise. Surprisingly, not overrated. You'd think it is because like everyone says it's the best game, but it's actually very good. Oh my god, this guy's just he's gonna really do this to me, isn't he? He's actually gonna do this to me. He's gonna sit here and he's gonna tank my shots like he's better than me. He's just gonna do that. Holy shit, that took so long. We did it though. That was good. A ruined hat, huh? It's plus one. Why would I ever want this? Because it looks better than my original hat, but that's fine. I'm, I'm not role-playing in this one. I'm playing as Demise. This is me. I'm not, I'm not playing as a specific character. I don't need to look for fashion. It's not fashion souls. But yeah, I was looking at the, uh, at the Dark Souls wiki, and they were talking about like unused content. There's so much interesting shit when you consider the implications of what was happening. Scroll on match community, damn it. You know what, now that I think about it, I probably don't want to like, use my scroll of requirement for gold anymore. I probably want to do, uh, get a weapon, you know, it's probably better, not gonna lie. Alright, Prince Ribbit died off screen somehow. Um, but yeah, like the, the bosses that were like, changed and stuff are in the game files for Dark Souls. And so it's like dialogue and like item descriptions and shit, and you're like, damn, that's what could have been in the game. Would have been sick. There's like a there's like a whole new like Dark Wraith enemy in the game. He looks really cool. And you're like, oh man, if only that was in the game still. But yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's pretty cool. I like I like I love reading about stuff in games that like didn't make it into the final cut, but they're like still in the game files. Like, even in, like, Pokemon, I think there's, like, a couple. Um, well, they're not they're not so much unused files, but, like, they're, like, glitchy bits of the game where you're like, what the fuck is happening here? It's just cool. I don't know. It's part of that, like, mystery romance of the, um... Holy shit, there's a lot of Blink Frogs here. Of the... It, it reminds me of, like, those old school days when you didn't have any, like, guides. I mean, like, you could argue that I was already at the age... I was already from the generation that, like, grew up on readily accessible information, but not really. Like, a lot of the games that I played, like, on GBA and stuff, on the Game Boy, were, like, not exactly games that, like, I knew how to find information for. I kind of just played them, you know what I mean? I, I, like, finished, I think I finished, like, Pokemon with no, like, with no, like, walkthroughs and stuff. Um, actually, I was gonna say something about, like, something about, uh... Something that, like, is interesting, because, like, it, it, it relates to, like, my nowadays roguelike mastery, I guess, is that when I first played Dun uh, Pokemon Ruby, the first Pokemon I ever played, uh, I actually didn't know what the fuck overriding save means, because I didn't know what the word override means. Like, it, it sounds stupid, but, like, I just didn't know at the time, and I didn't check. Um, so I literally played the entire game for the first, like, 12 hours, I think. I played the whole thing without saving at all. Um, I, I just replayed the first town, and the first Old Dale town, I think, and like a little bit past that, uh, like four or five times over because I was just, I just didn't know what the fuck saving was at the time. I was like, there's no way that you can save this game because you gotta remember back in the day, right? A lot of uh, a lot of games just didn't have save files, and you know, you just you just played the game. Um, like, some of the Power Rangers games, some of the Shrek games. I literally just beat the game from start to finish with one, with one like, go. I never got a game over or anything. So, like, 
but for me, Pokemon, I was like, man, this game's fucking hard. How are you supposed to play? Like, how are you supposed to play? And then an uncle of mine was like, y you know that you can just save, right? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, so yeah, I was a fucking dumbass kid. But that was like really what makes me realize now that like I was very suited to play roguelikes in the first place because I had no problems just playing the same game over and over again with like very minor <laughs> variations. It was really, it was really a good time. It was a very favorite time. I remember getting like the little like wolf Pokemon at the beginning of the game and like the little the little uh, seagull like Pelipper and uh, Wingull I think his name is. I was like, oh man, I got those p Pokemon and then I just walked on through the town. And then I closed the game, and then I had to start again, and then I didn't realize, because I'm a fucking idiot. That was a good time, man. I love that game. I love Pokemon Ruby so much. I don't know. It's just... Everyone has those games where, like, you start off as a kid, and then, like, that's the game that, like, kind of imprints you. Pokemon was probably that game for me. And then Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, actually, as well. Which is kind of what, again, brought me into roguelikes as well. There's a lot of games that I played that... Now that you look back, you're like, oh, that probably is kind of like roguelikes. Has those elements. Oh, Dream Sheep. I thought that was an Unranda. I was like, oh, so excited. Ah, uh, it's a Dream Sheep. Nope. Now that I look at them, like, in the context of the video game, and not side, not outside, like, the randomness, uh, sorry, like, just, like, isolated tiles, they look a little out of place. They look a little, like, color-wise, they look really weird, because they just don't look like enemies. They look like items, pretty much. They're really bright and shiny, you know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like them as much now. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here, because I'm actually 41 minutes into the thing, and I need to go talk to someone, because it's eight, almost 8.30. So, uh, yeah. Bye, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and um, stay tuned for more. I'll probably be streaming this week on the Saturday. I might not be uploading on Sunday. Uh, we'll see how things go from, uh, from there. Yeah, bye.